Alright guys, my battery died. This will be part two. Miss Jackie Jack wants to come out and say hi. Hello Miss Jackie Jack, how are you? Alright. So, um, basically what I was trying to explain to you guys earlier was there are, uh, you have to, either two different ways to set your height. You can either measure um, the height it's going to take from, put this in location, put this on, measure everything, and then go ahead and put it into place. Or, what we can do is use what's known, or use a float rod. So, instead of doing it this way, we would take the rod and put it on the side and screw it here. Go up and down. So you would just place that riser at a relative height, uh, which I'll go ahead and measure it for you guys real quick, and then um, make use this rod so it floats to get to the right location. Hey, Miss Jackie, you want some attention, huh? Um, so let me grab my tape measure, which the cat was just hiding it. I'll get you a quick measurement. Let's see if we can see that. Uh, just about six and a quarter inches. Um, it's going to be a rough height for you guys. Uh, maybe six inches actually, because I've got little risers to get it closer. Oh, you're just too cute. You got in the box, huh, Jackie? <laughs> this isn't supposed to be a cat video. That's kind of cute, Jackie. All right. Uh, I guess good thing the uh, motherboard isn't in there anymore. So, all right. <laughs> Enough with the cat. Um, so I showed you guys how this one takes place. This is, just pop them in and out. Go to another location. And pop it into place. So I really like this fixed location better than the loose uh, riser versions. I'm not sure what exactly they're called. All right, so what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to take the 6 inches that I measured over here. I'm going to come over here and go ahead and put my rods in. It should be pretty close. And I've got some shims to help me fine tune it. So I'm going to go ahead and put my aluminum that I have measured and pre-cut. And I'm going to go ahead and fix it right here. Now, I <laughs> would suggest... Uh, pre-drilling the holes right here and I would also pre-drill the holes right here uh, which I'm going to go ahead and affix this so that you guys can see what the finished product looks like okay so I would affix it just like so and I had to squeeze it in just a little bit because um, when I measured it it was a little bit over 21 inches so I wind up making it uh, 21 inches exactly so it fits perfect all right uh, one other note I'd like to point out when you guys are doing this um, like me I have a motherboard right here if you happen to have one below you or around you uh, if you need to drill the holes for these parts make sure to put cloths down and cover all of these hard all the hardware because if one piece of aluminum gets in there arc it it will destroy it so make sure to cover everything. Be real careful when you're uh, drilling this aluminum. Uh, I'm going to take this piece inside now. Uh, actually, I'm going to hold off on that point. I'm going to skip this and do that as the next part. I'm going to go ahead and fix my walls on the sides here. So, Okay, before I drill this, I just want to explain what the clamps were for. I went ahead and marked my 6 inch line. Put the board in place and use the clamps to hold it. Now I'll proceed to drill. Instead of measuring for the back, I use a level. Alright, I've got that side done. Now I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. Six inches on this side. Okay, now that we've got the frame done, we need to be able to test the height. So we've got to go and set up our uh, graphics card. Um, board which is right over here we're gonna go inside and do that all right I'm inside so the easiest way to get all the graphics card lined up and get everything you know really neat and organized on that bar is going to be to find a flat wall which I'm just in my kitchen 
Um, I'm going to slide these cards back. So that you can see, it's not exactly flush, but what the point of it is, is there it's flush from corner to corner. Uh, so this is how it's going to line up. Uh, and then that way I can just go ahead and screw these cards on. I'll make those also flush right up against the wall. And I'm going to have to go find some screws. And then this is what comes in the kit. You get a USB cord, uh, power adapter, and then the plug that goes into the actual motherboard. Okay, I'm going to pause this, go get some screws, and start screwing. Alright guys, here's the riser pack that I bought off of Amazon. The PCI uh, 16X to 1X riser cards. Um, so I just also wanted to show you the screws that I'm using. They are these holes on these things are pretty small. Um, I wind up getting number four uh, screws. I think they were uh, quarter inch. Number four is my phone's not really focusing very well, but they are much smaller than the screws I got for the motherboard. I think those were number sixes. I just wanted to make sure you guys know that they're pretty small as you can see from my finger. Alright, I'm going to install them. Okay, I'm almost done. I just wanted to show you guys <clears throat> on my phone focus how I place the screws. I just kind of pop them into place and the foam holds them. Um, and make sure not to over tighten them. Oops. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. But, uh, Make sure that you can put a little bit of uh, push down on them. They're not too tight. You don't want to break the boards or bend them. Make sure to look at them at an angle and so forth and make sure again that they're not uh, bent. Okay, I'm going to pause this and wrap it up. Alright guys, we got the assembly ready. It's sitting into place roughly. Not screwed off as of yet. Um, but our heights are really close. I need to just put a small shim in there. So let me go ahead and work on that. Okay, <clears throat> I went ahead and put a shim on this side. I've got one temporarily on this side. So now you can see it's uh, right above the height. I've got a little bit of wiggle room. So it's not too tight, just in case every graphics card is a little different, but they're all the same. So I've got it wiggled in place. Now I've just got to put the screw. I pre-drilled it. I've got to put the screw in. All right, before I flip it over and get the other side, I ran into a problem, um, it didn't actually fit to the right height, I kind of was trying to fix a slight split in the wood, I forgot to pre-drill the hole so the thing split on me, so it's being lazy and not cutting another piece of wood, I decided to MacGyver it, so I used a couple of zip ties. This was the bad split area, so I used a heavy duty one and a light duty one over here, so it solves it, not going anywhere. All right, let me flip it over and get the other side done. All right, guys, got it in there. These little plastic shims are great. Help you level it off and get it the exact height that you need. It's just a little bit higher. And they're all lined up. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. The next step is to place your motherboard right in here. And again, you're going to use... Just simple uh, spacers you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I found this to be cheaper. Just go to the plumbing aisle, buy some tubing, uh, pick a measurement, cut them all that measurement, that length, and just use those along with your screws, which I got number, see if this will focus for us. No, yeah, well. It's number six, one inch. Too bad it's not really focusing all that well. But they are number six, one inch to go with that. I use pipe cutters to cut the tubing. Um, mount that. Go ahead and mount your graphics cards. Again, be very careful when you are, once you have your main graphics cards and you're ready to drill these holes, uh, make sure to cover everything up and don't get any of the aluminum in any of these slots or in your motherboard. Be very careful with that. Uh, the power supply. Just sits on this back end. I just used some brackets and screwed it into place. So it's pretty simple, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, again, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't like it. If you've got questions, ask them. I always try to answer. Um, you know, also in the uh, comments below or in the uh, description section, I'll put links to where I found most of this stuff, what I'm using. Uh, the wood, you know, again, this is just simple wood, but I'll try to put as many links in there as I can. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you have a great day. Talk to you later on. And good luck mining.